what is going on you guys welcome back to the channel so today uh, I didn't really plan to do much because it's kind of just been raining off and on I showed a little clip here in the beginning but I kind of just been taking some days off I'm not gonna lie to you guys and I'm gonna show you guys a date real quick because kind of excited I'm kind of excited that you guys are finally all caught up it is 5 10 right now December 14th and a lot of the videos that I've shown up until this point has been kind of like made a while ago and each one of those videos that came up prior to this point were pre-recorded when i was injured and stuff like that or when i took when i took months off from youtube and stuff so i just kind of tossed them all out and pretty much gave my days in between to i guess take a break from so we are finally caught up now and I don't really have too much thing going on right now because of the rain and the canopy being all torn up and the rain kind of hitting the areas where I usually work under the lamp. You guys can see all the water kind of drizzled all over the place. That whole entire thing right there is wet as well too. I need to find a Walmart that has a 10 by 20 heavy duty in stock so I can get a replacement and change this one out so we can continue working here in the garage. But also in part of all of the rain and the tarp and all that it's just been really cold like right now it's only five and and my hands are freaking like iced out right but kind of want to still be a little productive so i kind of just been tinkering with the downpipe and stuff you guys should have seen this in the last video where we made the dump tube and the downpipe for the turbo kit that's going to be going into the all-wheel drive car the all-wheel drive car i think i'm going to take care of that install this upcoming week because um yeah just just because so i posted a poll on my instagram story and i asked if people were interested in a junkyard tool bag like rundown of what i bring to the yard and a lot of people really wanted to see it i, I know buddy you want to see it too so i think that's what i'm gonna do right now uh we kind of lost a lot of daylight because laundry and stuff been going on and i didn't want to like record over it so i know hold on give me a second buddy buddy i literally just fed you like an hour ago with everybody else as well they're all done eating lucy's done eating she's sleeping right there on top of that freaking tower of toilet paper and you you just still got dang hungry let me do this video, okay? I was gonna do a little rundown of my toolbox as well too, but um, there's just so much in my toolbox. I'll probably make a video another day or something because it is so cold outside right now. I was gonna go ahead and uh, do my little tool bag rundown on my toolbox right here. So first and foremost, big shout out to Junkyard uh, Performance because he sent this tool bag uh, to me to replace my torn up snap-on bag that had a gang of holes on it this one is really nice because it has a plastic bottom especially in our junkyard we have a lot of rock um, everywhere and uh, this right here kind of um, works out for the terrain so it doesn't tear as easily as my snap-on bag but um, let's get right into it there's a lot of pockets on the outside now get a tool bag that either would fit all your tools or get one that's comfortable to you to carry around there are other people that go around the junkyard with a like wheel dolly and stuff so they can bring a really big tool bag but um my tools are normally like based off what i'm going after so i bring the right tools for the job so simple enough got a pair of gloves i change this out every now and then um because they do get greasy and grimy from like axle boot uh, grease or engine oil or after a whole day of tearing an engine out of a car i throw them away but if they're still good i'll still wear it and i do wear latex um on my hands before this so my hand kind of stay a little more cleaner because if you don't carry your own orange cleaner or hand cleaner with you to the junkyard the ones they provide sometimes they don't fill it up so you don't have anything to clean your hands with and also bring rags to the junkyard to clean yourself as you're working when you're taking breaks and stuff like that so i'm gonna get right into like my power tools um these power tools right here are my makita units this is a quarter inch uh, shank style impact um, drill or impact 
um, gun. And then this is the same thing, except this is for Phillips. This is for 3 8 I can switch them around. They'll work the same. It is a brushless motor system. Uh, this is the newer line, or this is not the newest line, but this is the newer one of what I was using before, which is this. You can see the difference in them. Um, you know what I mean? I don't actually take these to the junkyard. These I keep in the bag when I'm taking my bag with me on road trips. When I go to the junkyard, I switch out for my Milwaukee stuff, which is the stronger stuff, I feel like, or the stubby one at least. It's not a shank-driven shank one. It's an actual impact. So I switch it out for this to go to the junkyard. Um, but regardless, I do have an impact that goes with me to the junkyard, one for the Phillips, one for the sockets. I carry a pretty big hammer. I think this is like 16 or 32. and use it so much you don't really see the markings on it anymore, but this is great for you know hitting something that's stuck or popping off um, some shock forks or axles or anything that needs a good smack to release got to have a good hammer so for my ratchets pretty simple Pittsburgh uh, Harbor Freight half inch drive right here and then I have a 3 8 drive like a regular non swivel head okay well I can't find my other one but I had another 3 8 a swivel head one and a longer one like a 12 inch but i must have lost it in the junkyard because it's not in my bag in part of the ratchets i carry a bunch of extensions a lot of them for 3 8 right here and i also carry them for the half inch which is uh, this right here six inch and then i have a one foot as well for hard to reach areas i do carry this 3 8 to half inch adapter uh, in case of um, you know for whatever reason I lost a socket or uh, hard to reach areas or something I need to run on a drill I can adapt over to a half inch drive don't really use it much but it's nice to have in my bag I got a pair of needle nose from Harbor Freight as well too this is a Pittsburgh brand I have some dykes uh, wire cutters good for just clipping through things I have a crescent wrench for the off-sized um, bolts and stuff that I don't carry in my bag. I got a mini pry bar because this fits in my bag perfectly and um, you know it's more than enough for what I need to pry things. I mean if I can't get things out that's where the hammer comes in. Another pair of dykes. This one's a little bit bigger to cut more wires at once instead of snipping it through one at a time. This is a uh, what do you call this a pipe wrench. I don't know why I have this in the bag but I have it. I guess this is good for gripping something to twist or pull off like a, a radiator hose or something like that or coolant hose somewhere on the intake manifold. This is great to just grip, twist, pop, or you can just slice it and take it off that way. I have a chisel. I mean, I'm not really sure why I have a chisel in the bag, but I have a chisel in the bag and I remember using this for like TPS sensors, which is riveted on the throttle body on the B series, D series, F series engine. I just chiseled the rivet with my hammer, or not really a hammer, I can just take something really small, chisel that rivet until it turns, until I can take it completely off to pull the TPS sensor off. Um, but this is also nice to chip away things that need to be chipped away, obviously, because it's a chisel. This right here is our OEM Tools 32 millimeter. This is your typical Honda um, axle nut size. And then the next size up would be a 36 for like the CRVs, or I don't know, the TLs or something like that, or 36 as well too, which I have in my toolbox. Not in my tool bag. We'll talk about that in a minute. Harbor Freight sockets, you guys already know, the colorful ones. This is a half inch drive. I do have all of it, but because these are all broken, the rest of the socket are just kind of sitting in the pockets, like, like over here, you know? I also have it in 3 8 uh, deep socket and 3 8 short sockets. I do carry my wheel lock keys because some wheels in the junkyard are left on the car because they don't have the key for them. So in case I find a nice set of wheels that I want, then I have the lock for them. I'll pop them off, buy them, and you know, have some nice set of wheels to kind of sit around for no reason. My hand screwdrivers, we got a couple different size Phillips right here. We also have a flathead. What's weird is I don't actually carry a lot of hand wrenches. I only have a 10, a 12, and a 14 now I do have the crescent wrench the monkey wrench in case I need something a little bit bigger than the ones that I carry I don't know why I don't carry a bunch of these I have an assortment of Allen keys for like if I found steering wheels or there's custom hardware's on the car that needs Allen keys um, I have this right here just your very basic sizes and uh, you know really small to keep in your bag for when you need them 
on the side pocket over here, I don't know if you guys can see it, I carry latex gloves. I always put a pair in here before I leave, so that way I know I have them to use in the junkyard. Just a bunch of random zip ties. I don't know why they're in there. I pack more in the bag depending on where I'm going and what I'm doing. So the zip ties are probably from when I went to the track and uh, had those on hand. Now always when I go to the junkyard, I always bring Big Bertha. This is the Milwaukee M18 uh, half inch impact. So with everything that I mentioned, I keep my bag really light and really compact because I am gonna be carrying this thing a lot in the junkyard. And you know, if I'm buying a bunch of parts as well too, I wanna make sure that I can carry my bag and carry all the stuff if I don't find a wheelbarrow or whatever. I always make sure my bag zips up so I don't go dropping a lot of things like out of my bag. That's why you see a lot of my outside pockets don't really have anything there. Um, unlike my old bag, I used to have like all these little stuff all over the place but the reason why i don't bring that is because the wheels get stuck on a rock and i can't drag it so i switched over to this bag again thank you to uh junkyard performance for this because uh this is definitely um you know nice and compact for me to take into the yard now you're probably wondering how am i able to pull all the stuff that you guys see in my junkyard videos with this little tool bag now like i said earlier uh depends on what you're doing with um your tool bag like if you're going to the junkyard if you're going on road trips or just going to your friend's house to work on their cars i always pack my bag accordingly if i'm going to the junkyard and i know that i'm going to pull an engine out or uh potentially find something that need a special tool i pack it beforehand so like 36 mils and stuff like that i'll bring it with me if i know i gotta pop axles out so i'll take them throw them in the bag and then you know have them when i'm at the yard uh same thing for the uh, crankshaft um pulley tool this right here is for the um 90 mil b series fh series engine and then you got the single cam one right here big shout out to the person that sent me this i forgot your name because it was so long ago this thing right here comes in clutch must have in your toolbox or your tool bag if i need like a bigger pry bar i'll take this with me so i can have a bigger pry bar if i need a breaker bar i'll bring the breaker bar but i have big faith in my um, half inch impacts so i'll just take that but if i needed something for the job that i'm going to i pack it beforehand if I know I'm going to the junkyard and I'm pulling out a radio support or frame or a section of the panel of like the quarter or something like that, I'll pack my, my sawzall, you know? I'll go over here, grab my sawzall, I'll grab my blades, and then I'll pack an extra battery to the bag, go to the junkyard, find my panel, cut it out with these. You always gotta go prepared. I mean, regardless if you're like, not sure what you're going to the yard for, I'm just roaming around looking for things to buy. I still carry some of this stuff with me, like knowing in the back of my head that if I came across something that needed this tool to get it out, I'll have it there. Um, I always check inventory beforehand to know if a certain part is there or not, to know if I'm going to bring these tools or not. You don't want to leave tools in the car in the junkyard because there are some grimy people there that break into your stuff and steal your tools and stuff like that. I've seen it happen before, but I carry my extra tools in the car carry my bag in the yard and if i find something that i want that i don't have with me in the yard i'll go back to the car grab the tool that i brought with me to to, to get the part out grab the part and you know just make it make it kind of easier on yourself instead of having to miss the deal go home find the tool come back it just wastes a lot of time so you guys saw my bag very very compact very very basic harbor freight stuff a couple impacts here and there you don't need an impact if you can't afford an impact or a power tool ratchets breaker bars all that work perfectly fine because that's how i wrenched in the yard before i got my power tools but all that you guys have just seen right there my bag has pulled everything that you guys have seen in my junkyard videos from engines to interior to transmissions to miscellaneous pieces and parts just prep yourself before you go to the junkyard know what you're buying bring the right tools make your life easier really wanted to make a quick short video uh covering this topic um like i mentioned it's kind of it's kind of cold right now it's raining and the the, the tarp on the canopy has been torn up pretty bad from the winds and the cat and just dry rotting on the sun with the sun over the years um that's kind of made me kind of tucked inside the house and keep it warm so in the next couple of days now that you guys are kind of caught up in the next couple of days i'm going to try to change out the canopy and uh, get down with obviously one the turbo kit and if you guys really paid attention 
<laughs> that car is over there. And we have a different car in the driveway. So that is gonna wrap it up for this video, guys. I hope you enjoy my little junkyard tool bag. And if you guys like have any questions, leave a comment down below. If you guys like maybe suggest a tool or something that I should be carrying with me into the yard or something like that. If you guys see something I do in the videos that you guys know something else would help me, be sure to leave a comment down below. And if you guys wanna stick around and find out about this car that I'm not talking about in today's video, be sure to hit the subscribe button. This is gonna be a nice little build series I'm gonna do here on the channel real soon, probably starting tomorrow, maybe. I'm almost certain you guys will enjoy it. So that only means it is grind time for me. So be patient guys. A lot of videos are gonna be coming out here real soon. I mean, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You guys should already know that. But that is gonna be the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.